All right, so here I want you to go ahead and practice these real quick. So, and then you can pause it and we'll go over these. So first of all, find the probability that a male is less than 67 inches or males as a population. Um, that males, what's the probability that males are taller than six feet, six inches? So you're going to have to convert this to inches. And then what's the probability that male's height is between five feet and six feet? And again, you're going to need to do that conversion there, get a z-score for each of these. All right, this one will need two z-scores because you have two data points. And then go ahead and look at the chart and find the probability. So pause this and why don't you do that quick? All right, and again, if you cheated, pause it again and actually do the math. See if you can figure it out. All right, so let's go over these. Um, so z-score is your data. So a z-score is always your data compared to the mean divided by the standard deviation. All right, so here my data is 67 compared to 69.1. And again, notice these have units. These are inches, so if I subtract those... Um, uh, it's negative 2.1 inches. And then divide by the standard deviation to figure out if that's a big deal or not. And again, notice that has a unit on it as well, so 2.9 inches, so negative 0.72. And again, we like it when it goes to the left. See how the less than makes like an L, so we like it when it goes to the left. Um, because the chart goes to the left. So here's my little thing. Here's zero. Negative would be on this side, negative 0.72. And so do you see how I can tell it's less than 50%? I mean, it has to be because negative's over here and it's going to the left. So if you look at the chart, make sure you're on the negative side. And look at negative 0.72. So negative 0.7 and then the 0.2 is what? 23.58. So 23.58 percent would be the probability which that looks about right less than 50 but it's not super rare because it's not you know less than two standard deviations or anything like that all right so my nephew is 6 6 so let's look at this there's 12 inches in a foot so that's what 72 right there and then add in the other six so 78 so and his dad is actually 6 9 so what is the probability that people are taller than 6 6 all right so again we have it in inches. So let's see, we take our data, which is my nephew, subtract the average, and that's quite a bit above average. So we have 78 minus, what is that, 69.1? And so that's 8.9 inches actually above average. So is that a big deal? Well, divide by the standard deviation, which again is in inches. And we're trying to get it to a z-score, which is unitless. So that is 3.07. All right, and now again, this is going greater than, so this goes to the right, and we are way in this little tail right there. So we know it's rare, obviously. We know there's not a lot of people that tall. So the chart goes to the left. So if you look up 3.07, 3.07, is what 99.89 so 99.89 so if I subtract from a hundred percent that's what 0.11% okay so my nephew and his dad and all those super tall people out there um, are in the 0.1% on the top end now in the other video I said there's another way to get that um, if it makes sense to you the right tail and the left tail are symmetric so sometimes people, even though this is positive and it's, you know, obviously going to the right, they look up the negative number of this, negative 3.07. So if you look up negative 3.07 on the chart, it gives you the 0 0.0011, which would be 0.11% going to the left. And so they just realize that this would be the same area going to the right. So you can either look up this number get that value to the left and subtract from 100%, or if you want to, you can look up the opposite. So again, if this is negative, you'd look up positive. If it's positive, look up negative to get the reflection. So I kind of like subtracting from 100% because my brain likes that better. All right, let's look at this. Um, there's 12 inches in a foot, so that would be 60 inches on the low end, and six foot times 12, we did that earlier, is what, 72 inches on the high end. 
Okay, so we're going to do a z-score for both of these. So 60 minus the mean divided by the standard deviation and 72 minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. And again, you have to do order of operations. So you got to make sure you get an answer to that before you divide. So let's see, what is it? Negative 9 divided by 2 point, uh, what is it? 2.9? All right, so I have... 9, which is a difference, negative 9, divided by 2.9, which is your standard deviation. And again, your units cancel on all of these. So your z-score doesn't have a unit, so that's what, 3.10, and that's negative. All right, and then this one I'm going to subtract, so 72 minus, uh, oh, you know what, I messed up there, sorry. I forgot the decimal there. 60 minus, what is it, 69.1. So, sorry, that should be negative 9.1 and divided by, what, 2.9. So, that should be 1, 4, so I need to fix that. I lost my 1 over there. All right, so that's better. All right, and then over here, we're going to take 72 minus, what, 69.1 and divide by 2.9. And that's actually, something happened on my calculator, 72 minus 69.1 is 2.9. Oh, I guess not. Divide by 2.9. Again, these would be in inches. And that actually gives me a z-score of actually 1. So where am I at? Well, and that's a bad distribution, but we're going to live with it. Um, negative 3.1 is over here, right? And so that's going to be rare. And then 1 is, you know, if this is your mean, this is 1. But again, what I want is the area trapped between. So I want this area kind of in between here. All right, so between what is that? A negative 3.14, and then that's rare to the side. So I'm going to look up this really rare run, which is negative 3.14, which is 0.08%, which I knew it would be rare, right? It's in the tail, it's tiny. And then I'm look, going to look at a z-score of 1. So if I look at my chart for 1, it's 84.13, so that's all of this is 84.13 and so then I'm going to subtract them to get the answer so I have 84.13 subtract what 0 0.08 so the probability is 84.05 percent for what I want right there so this middle part has that probability all right so again if it goes to the left we like it because it's easy the chart goes to the left if it's greater than, it's it's not going to the left. So what we can do is look up the number that we're given, subtract from 100% to get what goes to the left. Or you can look at the opposite of the z-score because that would go to the that would give you the exact area going the correct direction. So again, I like subtracting from 100%. And then the trap kind do two z-scores. They both go to the left, so one is the tail to the left, the other one is all of it to the left, and if you subtract, you get what you want in the middle.